Hey there, welcome to Creative Crusade, my ongoing art journey. If you'd like to follow my art journey and learn alongside with me, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you can. All right, so this is the fourth, I believe it's the fourth, fourth and final Drawbox Lesson 6 part for whatever video, yeah. So I did a, two more pages and also filled this up with more cast iron pans that didn't work out very well. <laughs> just trying to freehand ellipses is really hard when you have very little skill in that area. I just have to grind out a million ellipses to get good at that. Anyway, so on to the, what I did. So, initially I tried to draw a chair, but immediately realized that I didn't have enough space for how big I wanted to make it. So I just drew the chair base and that was pretty easy and simple, but it was kind of refreshing to do a rather easier one. And then I went on and tried to do a door and the handle on the deadbolt are a little bit inaccurate, but other than that, it's a decent door. And finally, I tried to do a console controller, and it turned out awful. It's, it's, I just have very little practice with trying to draw super complex objects this way, and like trying to map it all out and stuff. It's, it's really hard. So I'm sure lesson seven is going to be a nightmare. Try to do the top-down view and the side view, and you know, try to place them in there and build them off that. It kind of worked, but. I probably just need a lot more practice on it, but yeah, overall this this lesson was it was it was it was fun and you got some decent results most of the time. So it was it was a good learning experience as well, and and I will most certainly probably most certainly probably use this technique to, of drawing complex objects in the future. So yeah, that's what I got for this week. Um, I'm just gonna move on to lesson seven. So so that's what I'll be doing next week and. Um, until then, I'll see you later.